I'm not self-centered. Apparently, neither is this deck umbrella in this deck umbrella mount from Amazon. So let's go ahead and fix this. Let's do a basic design and 3D print this umbrella spacer. There you go, here's our basic design. Let's go ahead and export this to an STL file and 3D print it. This STL file and deck umbrella mount from Amazon are linked down in the description below. Let's load up our umbrella STL file to get it prepped for printing. Let me go ahead and multiply this out so that way I have a total of four for the height of the entire umbrella mount. Now I'm just going to reorient this into my preferred uh, printing orientation. Now that I have this oriented the way I want, I'm going to go ahead and slice it. After slicing, it looks like my print time will be 8 hours and 45 minutes, which is fine for me. I'm in no rush. You can get this a lot lower by changing either your material type or changing any of the various settings in here. I went ahead and went with uh, PETG because I live in the hot state of Texas and I wanted that heat resistance. Let's go ahead and save this G code to file and transfer it to an SD card. That way we can go ahead and pop it into our printer and print this part out. now centered. And the reason I wanted it centered was because it looked lopsided with this makeshift tabletop put on it. And now it's centered. All that's left is to remove the plastic packaging from this DIY tabletop and stain it to protect it from the weather. Also, the tabletop is not as stable as I'd like, so I'll be creating a base out of 6 inch diameter ABS pipe wrapped in rope to hopefully give it a nautical theme, which will hide the deck mount. If you like to see the final product, comment down below, and I'll see you in the next video.